Good afternoon, Michelle. Hi, Lulu. Well, it's after. It's morning for you. It's afternoon for me. California to yes. London. All the way across the world. <laughs> amazing, amazing. And uh, Michelle is the author of Broken a Yoga for a Broken Heart, a spirit guide to healing from breakup, loss, death, or divorce. Thank you for being here today and answering my questions. Thank you for having me. I really uh, wanted to ask you and share here um, your own experience of pain and suffering that you went through and how did all this help you to heal your journey and what happened, how yoga contributed to it. You describe it in your book, uh, but I would just love to hear it so that we can give a sense to the, to the people watching this video of, of how beneficial yoga is too. Sure. Um, I share a lot of my own personal stories in the book um, and relate how yoga helped me through it. It started when I noticed that a lot of my yoga students at my studio found a lot of peace through yoga, through practicing, and started sharing their stories after a state of relaxation. But at the time, I was going through my own pain, um, and I had to work through that process. It was a three-step process of accepting the truth being that I wasn't happy in my marriage. A big truth that just kind of hit me over the head one day uh, was a whopper. Um, then I needed to process that with acceptance and compassion and forgiveness, both of him and myself. It takes two, and we were both unhappy for a long time, um, and life short. Um, I realized during that time both my parents had cancer, and they came through it, but it was a very difficult, painful time in my life, all the while writing this book on transcendence and, and how to find peace in yoga. So I continued doing my yoga practice and practicing what I preached, and realized that at the end of that journey of forgiveness and compassion lies divine love, lies the truth of yoga, that we are all one, that we share the same spirit. Um, is it romantic love? Yeah, that's great on the path. But ultimately, you can't find love out there. That's what I found. It comes from within first. I had to go through my own process of really loving myself and having that be key before and then it didn't matter if I found the love of my life. Sure I share some romantic experiences that I had along the way but ultimately after the book was done I had a great intuition and reconnected with my college sweetheart and really Ta -da. did find the love of my life. But it's always a practice of remembering that while that relationship is fabulous my truest relationship was with myself, with my inner being, with my higher power. Hmm. Thank you so much. It's it feels like it's a it's already healing our our own soul just listening to those words, and that's how it feels when we read your book. Uh, thank you that's so much. Thank, thank you, you so much for writing Yoga for a Broken Heart. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Lulu. Bye. Bye.